Can you guess what the first animal ever to have a voice was? Hmm, I don't know, maybe like a bat? No, older than a bat. Maybe like a dinosaur? Uh, no, it's still older than that. I don't know, what is it? Uh, let me show you. This is a video of a lungfish. Oh. And if you just listen right here. That's his voice. It's more a wheeze, if anything. But just like, okay, hear me out, because what's really kind of incredible is how we go from little fish gurgle to what we're doing right now. Okay, so you go back 400 something million years and there were some fish that were in these very shallow waters where you get droughts and then these fish just die. And so one of these fish one day develops a little pouch in its throat. But eventually that fish crawls up out of the water and evolves into reptiles. But reptiles, reptiles don't actually really make that much noise, but then big asteroid smashes into Earth, goodbye dinosaurs, and what you get in place of dinosaurs is the rise of mammals. Mammals, really importantly, have this muscle called the diaphragm that allows them to take in air quickly and powerfully. You can start making all these different types of sounds and you can start communicating stuff like uh, aggression or anger, trying to like ward off rivals, but you can also try and convey desire or like love, if you want to call it that, um, <laughs> to try and like woo mates. So all of my ability to communicate my, my relationships with people, I have this little slimy, muddy fish to thank for all that. Uh-huh, and desperation. Mm and desperation.